we had a Marine come on this tour, very bad guy, killed a lot of people in Iraq, front lines. Came over here, got physically attacked, like scratched up, you know. Every orb he took a picture of had a person, had a picture of some guy he would kill in Iraq. Or I don't know if it was Iraq, but it was the Middle East. We have psychics that go up here on this tour, and they tell us that, they ask us, first of all, were there guns used in this battle? And it's like, yeah, how do you know that? And she's like, well, I mean, you could have researched it and found out, but she says that there's warriors poised all along the outside of the forest, or the outskirts of the forest, ready to rush us because they think all the cameras are uh, flashing, but the pictures are actually the flashes of guns and cannons. They think we're shooting at them. On these tours, you must be able to use all your senses. Your sense of hearing, sense of smell, your sense of sight. Hear things, <coughs> see things, feel things, shoot the camera, okay? At any time somebody should feel sick or should feel any uneasy, let me know right off the bat. Anybody get orbs, let me know right off the bat. Okay? <laughs> You know what they look like? They're round little circles in your camera. Quiet, quiet. Okay, come. Okay, I need everybody to bunch up. Come closer. Stay tight with the group. Stay tight. The warrior spirit up here. Protect your mind, protect your heart. You hear it? Everybody feel like you've been watched? <coughs> right here. Once the crickets and all the sounds stop, and we don't hear them, that means something's here. That's a conch shell back there. You don't want to go over there? See, see that? When you hear that conch shell, Everything just stop. Come, we go. That's warrior spirit. I don't like the I don't know why, but sometimes people like to bring little kids on this tour. Oh my god. Like six, seven, eight year old kids. That's They're the people that see this stuff. Oh, we give them like two tea leaves, we give them like a bag of white salt, you know. Um about this place, Morgan's Corner, this is on the 100 most haunted places with most paranormal activity. This is number 21 in the entire world. This place is no more birds, daytime, nighttime, you know. This place used to be a road until they closed it off in the 80s. There were two very popular murders that took, took, that took place over here. I'll tell you the stories as we get up there. Also, when they built the road, they uh, dug up over a thousand human skulls while they built this road. You see them? What is that? Right there. Three lights inside out. I'm going to get inside out. Oh, I totally see it now. Yeah. Where? Right there, between the trees. Oh, right. Oh, yeah. Akulele. Oh, it just went way up. Stuff happens, I know what to do, you know. <laughs> I'm trained, I know, I know how to. I know all the procedures yeah, that kind of stuff. The Marine drove him up here to have his way with them. You know, do bad kind of stuff to him. But oh, this was an open road at the time. This was a public road at the time. So what he had to do, he decided, was he had to choke them until they passed out. 
So he turns to Don, he starts choking Don in his car. And then Don passes out. He turns to Cherry, he starts choking Cherry. Don regains consciousness. She gets she jumps out of the car, takes off down the road. The Marine grabs his gun, follows her. Cherry, seeing the opportunity, takes out, takes off the car and runs down that road. You know, that way, the opposite direction. As Cherry is running, she hears a gunshot. Just one. You know, hoping for the best, hopefully her friend never die. She knew what she had to do was she had to keep running and get help. So she got Don's dad and she got the police to come down over here. Now, later that afternoon, Don's dad was the one who found his daughter's body with the gun shot right through the head. To this day, this crime has been, this murder has been unsolved. Don's spirit wanders around here a lot. That little place we passed, that's why we stop over here after that place. That is where she was choked. That is where she died. That is where we have a lot of people that do experience some form of choking from mild to extreme. What happened was the murder site was right over here. There was an old lady, a 62-year-old lady named Teresa Wilder. This is back in 1942. She's over here cooking dinner, you know, nighttime, getting ready for bed, that kind of stuff. And um, little known to her, earlier that day, two convicts broke out of jail by the names of John Paul Kiko and Jim Majors. And they was coming down over to this side. They went across the poly. And as they come over here, they smell Teresa Wilder cooking food. So what do they do is they break into her house. They're hungry. They take the food and they tie her up. Then after they eat, they take her outside and they realize this lady already seen us. She knows who we are. So they took her, tied up, and hung her upside down from this tree. Interesting aftermath. They were the first case that they were supposed to be hung. They were supposed to be killed, you know, themselves, when they were tried. But last minute, the judge turned around the decision saying, this is now a civilized country, society. We will not kill these people. We'll have them serve a life sentence, which in other words means what? 20 years in parole. They got out on parole 20 years later. John Palakiko dies right after he comes out on parole, mysteriously. Nobody knows how he dies. He just dies. Yeah. Jim Majors, um, he just kind of vanished off the face of the earth. Nobody knows where he is, where he went to, or what happened to him. I feel pressure. I feel pressure, where? Right on my shoulder. Okay. You guys, do we have any orbs around with them? No. Maybe it's in the tree. Or in him. Remember, if there's something down there you know, like tell it to go away. I'd like to welcome everybody to Mono Chinese Cemetery. Um, this cemetery is about what over 150 years old. Would you say? This was the center of the universe. This would be a place where it would be very peaceful. Everybody would like to come here. Even animals would like to come here too. This place where you at is considered to be very lucky because it has every aspects of culture. Did you feel that? It's all over my hands. Yeah, yeah. You, you notice that a lot of children, yeah, around you. Children, yeah? I can see them. Okay, everybody, stop. No more cameras. Stop. Okay, good. We got orbs. Oh, no, 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 not Now, folks, uh, we have seen a lot of stuff tonight. We have seen some evil. We have some places that are really off the hook. Some places that wasn't. Um, we have seen the flip side of evil. Sometimes when people go look for spirits, we all think that it's supposed to scare the bejesus out of you. Not all places. Spirits are really sometimes, they're not like, like how they look at, you look at the television, the movies, okay? This place, we walk with spirits. There's spirits everywhere, right here. 